The Embassy of the United States is organizing the Great and Good Friends exhibition to commemorate 200 years of U.S.-Thai friendship. The exhibition will last from 21st March to 30th June 2018 at the Queen Surikit Museum of Textiles in the Grand Palace. Today we will uh, visit this historic uh, exhibition and talk with His Excellency Mr. Clinton Davies, U.S. Ambassador to Thailand, who will also introduce us to valuable the objects uh, which uh, were gifts and friendship presented by Thai monarchs to American presidents during the Jaki dynasty. Yes. So, what time? So, what time? Well. It's so like, you know, when entering here, Your Excellency, don't you feel like me that, like, you know, it's yes. like, you get good, yes. simple, good. You know, exactly. Good simple. Uh -huh. You're the first person to say that, but mm -hmm. I do feel that way. I feel I uh -huh. get very, very excited mm -hmm. uh, uh, because we are in the presence yeah. of real history. Yes. These objects were created mm -hmm. in this kingdom I know. over the last 200 years, right. and they've come back for the very first time to be seen by mm -hmm. the descendants of the wonderful uh, diplomats and artisans, mm -hmm. uh, artists who mm -hmm. created them. Exactly. So before we get into the, um, the real great and, uh, what do you mm -hmm. call, great friends. and good yes. uh, exhibition, yes. tell me about this uh, the 200 years, the meaning mm -hmm. of the 200 years yes. relationship. I think it's about? very special because for us, uh, it reminds us mm -hmm. of our, who was our very first friend mm. in Asia. When we were a small nation, very experimental, a republic, mm. back at the beginning of the 19th century, 1818, the only world we knew was mm. Europe mm. and the Atlantic Ocean. Mm. But a few of our ship captains mm. and traders sailed out to the world, and one of them, thank goodness, mm. came up the Chapraya uh. in June of 1818, uh. and he was looking to buy sugar. And he came to the Lovely. best place in the world oh, to buy sugar. Yes. And then, uh, the wisdom of the court of Rama II, uh -huh. uh, there was a minister, a uh, Dipunag, uh -huh. who uh, decided to reach out mm. to our president, James Monroe, and send oh. a letter. And we have that letter here. Yeah, and to really offer nice. friendship. And Thailand Siam mm. taught us uh -huh. uh, about diplomacy mm. and about Asia. So mm -hmm. Thailand was our first friend. Mm -hmm. The very first treaty that we signed mm -hmm. with any nation mm -hmm. in Asia was mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. Kingdom of Thailand mm -hmm. in 1833. Mm -hmm. And this exhibition tells that story of 10 generations, 200 years mm -hmm. of friendship. It was for me so uh, exciting and uh, I think historically important that the 10th king mm -hmm. of the Chakri dynasty opened up mm -hmm. this exhibition to commemorate 10 generations of friendship. Running down from 200 years until almost like about uh, 90, 80 years ago mm. that the uh, Thai king Ram Danai was born. Yes. In, in United the United States. States of America. So how did they feel about it? In the United American States. People? Well, we're very proud of that because he's the only king of any nation mm. in history born in America. Uh -huh. So in a very small way, uh, we claim a little bit of uh, uh of ownership of him. Uh, he belongs to the whole world. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that he was Thailand's king, but mm -hmm. he became somebody uh, revered and respected around the world. Mm -hmm. And we uh, are very proud of the fact mm -hmm. that he was born in the United States. And you know, when he came back mm -hmm. in 1960 mm -hmm. as a young king yeah. with his beautiful young wife uh -huh. and traveled all around America, he went back to Massachusetts. Oh, yeah. He went to the hospital where he was born, Whoa. and he met the doctor Look that. and the nurses they were still who, alive. Uh, who, were, who were still alive, and he gave a beautiful gift mm. to the doctor, okay. and on that gift he had inscribed, to my first friend. Oh. So he understood friendship, King Rama the Ninth, and a big part of this exhibition is about uh. King Rama the Ninth, right. because he had relationships with mm. 12 mm -hmm. American mm -hmm. presidents. Mm -hmm. Before we move into another the, the spot of this interesting uh, area, yes. what is the initiative? Now we are in front of here and we yes. really entered into this exhibition. Yes. What yeah. is the initiative to, to have this uh, Yes, why? Well, the idea uh, came about three years ago mm -hmm. uh, before uh, I came out to Thailand as mm -hmm. ambassador. I've been mm -hmm. here now for about two and a half years mm -hmm. when uh, I realized 
that we have uh, in our National Museum, mm. the Smithsonian, mm. a wonderful collection mm. of objects mm. from the Kingdom of Thailand okay. that go back 200 years. And so I began to go around do the our, one, do the one. Well, I, I was working with other people, oh. but I, I, I thought it would be a good idea to try to commemorate oh. 200 years of friendship. Interesting. So Interesting. our National Museum, our National Library, mm. our National Archives, mm. and 10 mm. presidential libraries all came together for the first time ever mm. to mount this major international uh, museum show exhibition here in Thailand. So I'm very excited about it. Me too. Let's yeah. go then. Let's we go have to see move it. to other Thanks. places. Okay. All Great. right. Thanks. So there are numbers of uh, objects here. Yes. Like how, how many? How many? I think there are about 77. But there are more over there, definitely. Right? Oh, we have many more many in, more. in America. Mm -hmm. So it was difficult to decide what should we bring back. Mm -hmm. And that's why we hired uh, historians mm -hmm. and experts who put together the exhibit. These are museum experts. They understood what to do. But the one object okay. that uh, we decided we had to have was the very first, yeah. which is this letter. Mm -hmm. And about a year and a half ago, at our uh, National Library, the Library of Congress, mm -hmm. uh, the woman who was in charge of the papers mm -hmm. of our first presidents, she brought this, she had white gloves on, and she brought this letter out to show it to me. And I thought, there it is. So this is the very first letter from August of 1818, mm -hmm. almost 200 years ago. What's it in tech? It's, it's still there. It's, still there. it's a beautiful yeah. letter. Uh, it's very short, but it's, very, it's a very sweet letter. Mm -hmm. And it basically says to the President of the United States, uh, James Monroe, who was our fifth president, mm -hmm. it said, we have done a, a good uh, transaction mm -hmm. with your captain, mm -hmm. and we would like to establish a relationship mm -hmm. with the United States of mm -hmm. America. Beautiful letter. It's in, yeah, the, yeah. it's in the Portuguese language. Like that. That's right. Because that was the That's diplomatic called, language of Thailand, Thailand using in dealing with Europe and the United States. You mean that the Thai king could speak Portuguese? Well, I don't know if he could speak Portuguese, <laughs> but, but his foreign minister could. Uh, and so he wrote this letter. Yeah, it's fascinating. fascinating. So this is the actual letter that began at 200 years ago. Yeah. So what do, which are the relevant uh, uh, support? Uh, yes. to, to get it, uh, items, these oh, to, objects well, here. We, we work on with, Thai side and Jewish well, side. Uh, our national uh, mm. institutions, the uh, uh, Smithsonian and mm. Library of Congress mm. and the presidential libraries, mm. but on this side, many, many institutions helped us out. Your National Museum, mm. uh, the Thai Film Archives, mm -hmm. obviously the Queen mm. Syracate Museum, mm -hmm. where we are, mm -hmm. was a wonderful mm. partner uh, to the United States. The Ministry of Culture, and Fine Arts, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, mm -hmm. the Royal Household, okay. many, many, many mm -hmm. institutions work with us. Mm -hmm. So these are the very rare items and meaningful exhibition. So uh, why do you think the name Great and Good yes. Friends? Well, that's, a, that's thank you for asking that question, mm -hmm. because that comes from a very important letter mm -hmm. that was written by uh, our most famous president, mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm. to King Mongkut. And uh, we have a, a copy of the letter here, but he, in his letter to King Mongkut, replying to a letter that King Mongkut had sent, he uh, addressed him as uh, my great and good friend. Mm. So we decided America's most famous president, uh, dealing with uh, one of your most famous kings, mm. King Rama the Fourth, mm -hmm. that that should be the name in English mm. of the exhibition. Wonder if that period of time, yeah. the they both sides uh, different in culture. Totally different. And language, no clue. Totally different. Anything. Totally but different. They could converse. They right. could understand each other. Yes, it's they were able. Well, King Mongkut was famous because, as a monk at Wat mm. Mawani Wet, uh -huh. he he taught himself English, so he learned English uh -huh. and he spoke it very well mm. and wrote it very well. And mm. he himself wrote some of the letters mm. to uh, American presidents. So he, uh, it was a time, uh, the 19th century, mm. when America was trying to discover the world. Mm. Uh, and Thailand, uh, the Kingdom of Thailand, was trying to uh, also uh, work with the rest of the world and position itself mm. within Asia. We were so tiny at that period. No, of not so tiny, not so tiny. No, you, you I mean, you were an old, established, mm. uh, powerful mm. kingdom. Uh, but it was it was the beginning of the period of colonialism, mm -hmm. so the European powers mm -hmm. were beginning to 
to put pressure mm -hmm. on Thailand. And I think that King Mong Kut, who had a strategic mm -hmm. sense, mm -hmm. understood it was important to reach out to other countries, mm -hmm. including the United States, mm -hmm. in order to help Thailand stay free mm -hmm. and independent. Mm -hmm. And one of the things the United States has done over generations is we have helped Mm -hmm. Thailand to stay mm -hmm. free and independent. Thank you very much. No, it's, yeah. Well, okay, so as if I'm in the United States of America at the moment. Yes. So take me around, please. Yeah. I need to see. Sure. What Let's other, go take a look at some other things. Yes, very, very good. Thanks. For those who like to visit this exhibition, do not miss what's written behind me. Yes. So Ambassador is going to tell us about Thank what's so going on there. Well, this, this is the original letter. Mm -hmm from King Mongkut yeah. that he sent to President James mm. Buchanan. But because it took a year, uh, for, a year? for a letter to go oh my goodness. halfway around the world on a uh, sailing ship, all right. uh, it was President Lincoln who responded. And a copy of uh, Lincoln's letter is there. Uh, and that's the letter where President Lincoln mm. addressed King Rama IV mm. as great and good mm. friend. But this is another beautiful uh, letter. That, what is it's all about, briefly? Well, it's 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 a it's another expression of friendship, friendship okay. from the Kingdom of Thailand uh, to the United States, yeah. and uh, in this letter, uh, King Mongku describes the presents that he was sending, diplomatic oh. gifts, oh. and he also offers to send to the United States of America uh, a pair of elephants. Okay. Uh, but he said, uh, "We'll send them if you have the right climate," mm. and Lincoln responded and said, "Sadly, we don't." have the right climate, but he thanked the king mm. for his generosity mm -hmm. in, in making that beautiful yes. offer. Beautiful, a beautiful offer. and huge. Yeah, beautiful, <laughs> huge offer. Huge, yeah, that's huge right. president. Yeah, yeah, that's so, right. so that's that, yes, and now here, this is from uh, the, the 20th century. Gold? It's, it's, it's made of gold. A gold trade? Uh, yeah. It's from the 19th century. Uh -huh. It's a jacket that might have been worn by King Mongkut. Okay. According to the family history of Prince Wan, now Prince Wan was the first mm -hmm. Thai ambassador mm -hmm. to the United States after World War II. All right. And he gave this gift uh, from his family collection mm -hmm. to America's National Museum. Wow. And so for the first time in about 70 years, mm -hmm. it's coming back to the kingdom. And it took a lot of work by experts mm -hmm. to prepare it mm -hmm. to come back. They repaired it and they got it ready to come back. When you say come back, that means all these items could be They were left created here. here. They're going to be kept here? Well, the, no, for, for, the for, the exhibition, for the exhibition, for ah, three months. For, for three uh, months only. Here so. at the Queen Circuit Museum yeah. until the end of June, uh -huh. they will be on display. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they'll be returned to uh, the United States uh, of America. So mind you that for those who really don't miss it because you they have until June to come with this. Until visit. June 30th and Interior. they should come to the, uh -huh. to, the, uh, to the palace, uh -huh. to the Queen Circuit Museum to and see. And you can the also museum. go to the United States and have it later. Right, or they so can, can get on Google. Get on the uh -huh. they, can, they can take a tour of they the museum on Google, uh -huh. arts and culture uh, website. They can go there. Very so, interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Thanks. many more, come along. Let's go. And for this particular showcase, well, I was talking to Ambassador, I was so surprised that uh, the high technology and photogra photography yes. is being done in that period of time, That's right? That's exactly right. And tell, tell us about this, about the religious part of it. Well, what's, this, going these, on? what's interesting about this whole wall, uh, now this is uh, King Chulalongkorn, Rama V, yes. who was a brilliant diplomat. Oh. And of course, he had learned from his father the importance of establishing friendly relations with other countries. So what he did was yeah. he took the diplomacy of his father one step further mm -hmm. and he began to send beautiful objects, beautiful artifacts, mm -hmm. religious, royal, and also some everyday things. Take uh, along with him to use that. Well, he would send them, send uh, them in, in ships uh, 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 as gifts. Gift, gift. And, uh, yeah. and he went beyond, he sent some beautiful gifts to American presidents, uh -huh. but he also began to send objects to the very first World's Fairs, the International Exhibitions. So we had them in the United States in 1876 and 1903 and 1893 in places like Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, St. Louis. And he sent um, objects to these exhibitions and hundreds of thousands of American citizens went and they were fascinated to learn about 
the Kingdom of Thailand through the objects that King Chulalongkorn sent to the United States. And so the public began to learn about Siam, about Thailand, uh, because of the wisdom of King yeah, Chulalongkorn. So that's in a way to insert it's a way the to knowledge, educate, educate, to educate Americans about mm. Thai culture and the way people lived here. And we know from newspapers mm. from 130, 40 years ago that Americans were really fascinated uh, by the pavilions. In fact, he even sent to the United States to one of the world's fairs, mm. they, he built a teak house. Teak house. He had his, his, artisans, his carpenters build a house ah. that they then disassembled and they packed it in straw, okay. put it in a ship, uh. sent it to the United States, and then they built it again. Mm. And they Whoa. filled it full of beautiful Look objects. And Americans were amazed. <laughs> Isn't that I can imagine. I can yeah. imagine. Listening to this, I'm amazed myself. Like, you know, how did they think about it? You know, there the you older go. people and uh, the ancestors of the. Well, I think Americans us. were just dazzled by mm. it, and uh, so we wanted to bring back some of these mm. objects, these beautiful gifts Great. from King Rama V, who again was reaching out to the world, mm. establishing diplomatic relations. Mm. He traveled. First king in history to travel. Mm. You know, he went to Europe, to Russia, and to Europe. Mm. He never made it to America, uh -huh. but. In a way, he didn't have to because he sent these beautiful sets of gifts to the American people, which taught us about the Kingdom of Thailand. That's not done yet. You have to go. That's right. Let's go. Yourself. Let's go see some more. <laughs> we are standing in front of two great men yes. of the United States. Tell us so. Who are yes. they? Well, these are examples of gifts yeah. from the United States to Thailand. To Thailand. Oh. And so these are taken from your National Museum. Uh, and the, these were uh, gifts that were sent, uh, I think, in the 1840s. Uh -huh. So uh, President uh, Pierce, one of the things we learned uh -huh. from Thailand, actually, was that it was normal diplomatic practice to send a portrait, a picture, uh -huh. of the leader to uh, the counterpart. So uh, President Pierce, who was before the American Civil War, a president of the United States, uh -huh. sent over to, uh, I think, second uh, King Pinklao. Uh, these portraits, one of George Washington. Uh -huh. So this is very, very old. This is an original portrait and a portrait uh, of himself. I, I think because of the, they wanted to be placed mm -hmm. when they have a, in the hall, they normally they place the, yes. the leaders or the king. Yes. The, yes. You know, the, so that's maybe the point that they're sending it. I think so. But, but again, it, one of the things that Thailand taught us, because Thailand taught us about Asia, <laughs> since you were our first friend, uh -huh. and Thailand taught us about how diplomacy with this part of the world was conducted, mm -hmm. and much of it through the giving of gifts mm -hmm. that tell stories and that teach. Mm -hmm. And so we learned that mm -hmm. from our diplomacy back and forth. But the two Thailand. presidents never been here? No. No, no the first it. president to come was President uh -huh. Grant. After he left the presidency, uh -huh. He came here, I think, in the 1880s, because uh -huh. uh, he was president in the 1870s. Uh -huh. But he came and visited the kingdom okay. Okay. Uh, on a steamship uh, in the ooh. 1880s. And nice then, of course, in the that. 20th century, yes. many, many uh, presidents have come and, and kings have visited America. And so oh, nice. It started by then. Then they started to well, it started traveling to each other. Sort of they started thing. traveling back and forth mm -hmm. a, a little bit more. Right. Yes. All right. Let's so move let's on. Let's go see that. OK. Sure. This is another impressive. Yes. Look, what is this? Actually, this is it's so cute. I, I love this gift because uh, for two reasons. One, it's small, uh, but very powerful oh. as a diplomatic message. Oh. And second, it was a secret gift. It was secret because it was sent from the kingdom of Thailand while the kingdom was occupied by the Imperial Army of Japan. Oh. And it was sent by the regent to Rama VIII, who at the time was a young boy living in Switzerland. Oh because it was, the war was happening okay. in January of 1945. Uh. And it had to be smuggled out by secret agents. But, but uh, the regent, Pridi, uh. wanted to send a gift to our president, Franklin Roosevelt, a gift of friendship and solidarity. Mm. And he knew that Franklin Roosevelt was a smoker. I mean, he smoked. So he sent him uh, this little gold uh -huh. cigarette case yes. with the crest uh -huh. of King yes. Rama VIII. Uh -huh. So it's a rare gift. Because tragically, of course, King Rama VIII's uh, reign didn't last very long. We know about that. Um, so this is one of the very few gifts in the world that came with his, with Rama VIII's crest on it. But it helped 
to establish a friendly uh, relationship between the Kingdom of Thailand and the United States of America. We know President Roosevelt was enchanted by it. He loved this gift oh, yeah. and he wanted to know more about it. Uh -huh. And so there are documents here, like this document uh -huh. Uh -huh. from Bill Donovan, uh -huh. which was secret, Ooh. but then was declassified later on. <laughs> Because it was secret. It was uh, a secret uh, gift. Uh, supposed to be, yes. It was a secret gift. Uh, and, it, and the Seri Thai, the Free Thai uh, agents, right. were the ones who helped us smuggle it out of the kingdom uh, during the occupation here. Really interesting. The wording itself, Your Excellency. Ooh. I know. It's so Just a memorandum that, uh, well, you can read and you can see that I'm sending the yes. secret case. And, you know, yeah, he's explaining what it is. Uh, OSS. <laughs> the OSS. Right, and this is the famous Wild Bill Donovan, who then at one point became ambassador to Thailand. Thailand. But he was the founder of the OSS, which became the CIA. So, so that's a little bit of uh, history. A little bit of history. But, it's making something big for me. But, but what a beautiful gift. What a beautiful gift. What a beautiful Just turning the, the meaning of the, right. of the, what you call the scary or what secret see right, right. it's going to turn into the right. friendly lovely because gold is something it's gold and it, and it showed a lot of uh, I, I think uh, interest on the part of um, of the uh, of the secret government mm. of Thailand in establishing a good relationship with the United States of America and that's that helped to do it that gift it shows the power of diplomatic gifts that's another show yes. photography say everything right. let's go right. thanks thanks and this is another showcase yes. that we have to can go without it. Yes. You know? uh, please yes. explain. It's very it's beautiful. beautiful. So most of this room mm -hmm. is dedicated mm -hmm. to King Rama the Ninth yes. because his reign was so long uh, and because he had strong uh, friendships with 12 mm -hmm. American presidents. Mm -hmm. And this uh, beautiful decoration mm -hmm. was given by the king mm -hmm. during his 1960 mm -hmm. state visit to the United States to uh, our president uh, Eisenhower. And it's uh, uh, the order of the House of Chakri. Uh, He's the only American president ever to earn this decoration from the King of Thailand. And we wanted to bring it back. Uh, this is from the Eisenhower Library. President Eisenhower has his own library. And they very generously lent us this object. I believe that he was wearing also. Yes, yes he's wearing it in the picture. On, you, in can the picture. See, you can see that uh, uh, the president is wearing it. Smilingly. And, and with another gift of, from uh, the king, uh, which is a teak elephant, that sadly we couldn't bring back. It's too big, we couldn't bring it back. But, um, but it, it shows that King Bumipon continued the gift-giving tradition uh, of his forebears of the Chakri dynasty. Your Excellency, this must yes. be on the table of uh, Eisenhower? This, this, this uh, is a desk set, but desk a very special, special beautiful, beautiful desk set inlaid with gold mm -hmm. that uh, he gave to President uh, Eisenhower. Uh, and the clock uh, on the desk set is, is set to, uh, it's set to, I think, 10, 12 a.m., which was the minute that uh, that King Bumipon began his famous speech to the American Congress. What a so, thoughtful thing! Isn't that interesting? interesting? Isn't that interesting? But it's a beautiful guest, uh, it is. desk set. Undeniable, Your Excellency. And it shows how, you know, in the beginning, the objects were uh, of royal character, religious character, ceremonial. But as the 20th century developed, some of the gifts became a little more practical, which I think is kind of interesting. And that's a beautiful practical gift that he gave to President Eisenhower. Oh, Sensei, thank yeah. you so much, thank you very much. for being here. Yeah, and uh, we, I, uh, I learned a lot. Thank you so much. I promise thank you that so much. I said still. <laughs> thank you so much. And I, I hope that we, we have the, the Thai people more and more. And the I hope they come down. watch our program in 177 countries worldwide. It is a time for you to yes. have a look when you are in Thailand. That's so right. Come on down. down. Come on down. That's right. We're in our program with great thanks to Ambassador. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.